So tonight is uh, a super combination of athleticism and also literature and poetry. We got four of the best uh, poets in the city who are gonna be uh, competing head to head. They wanted a stage to voice their love for Muhammad Ali and his principles and things like that. I miss the days when we pulled out boxing gloves instead of handguns. Before fists became semi-automatic pistols and double action revolvers, we used to trade left hooks and jabs. Nosy shipwrecks resurfaced to watch dolphins ornament black braids with gold. She pulls Mount Everest out of her breast and each nail lines up for its turn at getting even. This earth was not built by brick and mortar. What you do may make you important, but why you do it will make you immortal. Ali is actually one of the few people that can be like, oh, that is like one of my like superheroes. I just look at him as someone who is so dedicated to getting what he wants. Just going back and watching old footage of him and just seeing how he was able to just come out on top against some of the biggest fighters. And then of course, outside of the ring, he was just an artistic person overall. He was one of the first, I would say like one of the first like well-known like spoken word kind of poets. Float like a butterfly and sting like a beast. Ah, rumble, young man, rumble. Ah. That's the best type of poetry to me is like that authentic genuineness and that's like all Muhammad Ali is, you know? The fact that he crafted himself as his own character and chose to be true to that come hell or high water, you know, with all of the, the weight that each one of his decisions is made, not just for himself, but as a representative of his people here in America. He, he got something that he had been training for basically his entire life, and he decided to give it up for the good of other people. I loved him as, you know, being a, a black man who was completely confident in who he was at that time, that was very not okay to do that. He became the first, in my eyes, the first athlete that was more than his sport. I wish I would have had the opportunity to actually meet CB in the presence of Ali, worthy of all praises, most high. We want Tampa to be a city that people think of when they think of like really dope spoken word poetry, like, oh, we gotta go to Tampa to go to Grow House. And we really believe in building community and, and working together with other people in the community who have the same goals as us. Tampa as a whole, outside of even just poetry, is really blossoming in a beautiful way in the art scene. So and we want to be a part of that. We're all trying to get to the same place. We all want to, we all want Tampa to be known as this awesome city and there's a whole bunch of talent here and Grow House just wants to like be a platform to show that and put Tampa on the map basically.